Stop wasting time in 2025. Five of these apps will help you stay so productive. You're gonna wonder how you ever lived without them. My name is Prithviraj and I create videos on productivity, tech, and life. Well, do you know that feeling when your to-do list is everywhere? A few tasks on your notes app, some on the sticky notes on your desk, a couple of reminders on your fridge that you completely forgot about, and suddenly you're spending more time organizing your task than actually doing them. It's super frustrating and trust me, I've been there. That's exactly where Superlist comes in. It's an ideal app if you're super lazy. As you might have guessed it, it's a task management app that feels lightweight but is insanely powerful. And also, you can very well use this as your primary note-taking app all at once. Not only that, you can even transcribe your meetings and also it has some AI features that can really help you speed up your workflow. Trust me, this blew my mind. We'll be discussing this in a moment. But in short, it's like a perfect blend of two of my favorite apps, Todoist and Notion, all fused together. Firstly, the UI is super clean and organized. It's quite simple to create tasks, break them down into subtasks, set deadlines and even share them with your team or friends. All without that overwhelming corporate software vibe. Trust me, that's not fun. But like I said, it's not only a simple to-do list app. You can get so much done here. But before we talk about all the cool AI features it has to offer, let me show you how I have been using this app for myself. For example, under the project section, I have created this section where I've been managing my upload schedule for my YouTube channel. I have categorized everything based on different videos I've been working on. And under every page, I have a task list of all the processes that I need to get done in order to finalize my video, like scripting, filming, etc. But the best part is that it serves as my note-taking app as well. Hence, I don't have to juggle between multiple apps. Like take a look here, under my task called finalize script, I have written down the entire script of the video here itself. This helps me reduce friction so much and actually get my work done fast. Just like in Notion, it works on blog-based layout. We can organize our notes into professional looking documents in here. Like take a look at my script. I have created different types of headings in order to organize my script into different segments and also the apps I wanted to talk about. I honestly like the divider a lot. It keeps things a lot casual. Hence, I don't really drift into that corporate mindset while doing my boring task, like scripting for my videos, of course. And since it organizes everything in a block-based manner, I can simply drag and drop to rearrange the content. And the forward slash helps me create different types of blocks, which is really neat. And once I'm done and finally check off my completed task, you are gonna be greeted with this super calm sound effect. It's so therapeutic. And also, if you're like me and you feel lazy to type, you can even dictate your task altogether and it will organize them for you instantly. And speaking of being lazy, let's take a look at the AI stuff we have been waiting for. We can simply create a block and select this option called make with AI. Over there, just describe what you're looking for. Like I asked the AI to create a Kanban both style project layout for creating my YouTube videos and it automatically created different segments and the entire checklist of tasks that I need to get done. This thing has to be a game changer. It will save you so much time. And not only that, it can automatically record and transcribe your meetings so that you don't miss a single thing. And the best part, it even summarizes your meetings into different key points. Like I said, no juggling between apps. Superlist is simply an amazing all-in-one productivity app and I'm really impressed by this one. Since I've partnered with Superlist to bring this video to you, you can use this coupon code PrithviRajX Superlist and you'll get 20% discount off your first year of Superlist. Definitely give this a try. It's totally worth your time. Sponge is next up on the list and this app is quite an interesting one. Be honest with me right now. What does your phone gallery look like? Thousands of screenshots, memes from 2018, dozens of duplicate selfies and random WhatsApp forwards, right? But don't worry, you are not alone. <laughs> this amazing app called Sponge can help you clean all the mess. Almost like Sponge soaking dirt. Pretty self-explanatory, right? But this app comes with a twist. It has this dating app like interface. You can simply swipe right to keep any photo you would like and also swipe left to delete them instantly. Think of this like Tinder but for your gallery instead. It will randomly show you different photos and you can choose if you would like to keep them and this makes it very easy to get rid of photos you no longer require. So if you ever feel lazy to clean up your gallery, this app will help you gamify the experience so that we can actually make time and get rid of the stuff we no longer need. This one only works with local media storage as in you can only delete stuff from your phone. But I really wish we could do the same but delete photos from Google Photos instead. That's gonna be a game changing addition if they could do that as I have a lot of random crap loaded up back from 2011 or something like that. So in case anyone from Sponge team is watching this video, please make it happen. That will make this app an absolute must have for everyone. But nevertheless, it still works like a charm for your local media storage. Also, if you're finding this video helpful, then I'd really appreciate if you could consider hitting that subscribe button and I'll keep creating more such videos. On the topic of staying productive and building good habits, I personally have started using this habit tracker a lot lately. If you want to live right, which I'm trying to, staying accountable can really help you be more consistent with your goals. The next app on the list is called Streaks. It's one of the most cleanest habit tracking app that I've ever come across. Streaks is designed around 
around one simple principle don't break the chain or streaks as you know the more consistent you are the longer your streaks grow and honestly that little dopamine hit of seeing your streak go up is super motivating what i love the most about streaks is that how clean and customizable the ui is you can track up to 24 habits and each one feels personal because you can choose your own icons colors and categories of course this app doesn't just help you build good habits like working out and reading but it also helps you get rid of the bad ones like smoking and eating junk food guilty junk food not smoking as this one helps you log your negative habits as well the best part is that we have these big circles showcasing our habits and actually we have to long press in order to mark our habit as complete this simple delay will help you subconsciously get that satisfaction for checking off our habits and that thing goes a long way i've tried out several habit trackers but what makes this one different is the simplicity it won't overload you with features or complex systems that you won't have any idea about instead it only focuses on making habit tracking satisfying and almost addictive in the best way possible. Another thing worth mentioning is that Streaks is a one-time purchase app, no subscription fees, which is quite rare in today's market to be honest. It works across the Apple ecosystem. We even have an app for the Apple Watch, but sadly it's not there on Android just yet. Hope that changes soon. Next up is GoodNote 6. It's simply amazing. It has been my go-to note-taking app on the iPad for years, and now it's aiming to be one of the most complete note-taking apps out there. And this will surprise you with just how much you can do. It has that clean folder based system and that makes it super easy to organize your notes. If you're a student or a researcher, you can very easily organize your notes based on different subjects or topics that you're working on. You can take handwritten notes, text-based notes, as well as voice notes inside this app. But there's one thing better. It will also do a live transcription of your voice notes. And this thing is simply amazing. And like I said, I'm quite lazy. So I can simply open the voice recording tab and start dictating my notes and it will transcribe it for you in real time. The handwriting feel on this app is real smooth. You'll get a very natural handwriting experience on this app with almost no latency and not only that you won't be facing any issues regarding the palm rejection aspect as well the new spell check feature also fixes your spelling mistake that too in your own handwriting take a look i just made a spelling mistake and now i can simply tap on it and it will try to mimic my ugly handwriting as well in order to try and fix it this feature is like a hit or miss but with time it can turn out to be something really cool and like i previously mentioned we now have a dedicated segment to take space notes the interface here will feel very similar to microsoft word or google docs as in you can select the type of text you require we even have all the essential tools required for taking text-based notes as in those rich text formatting options if you're a student or a researcher you can import your pdfs and books right inside this app i mostly work with my daily planner template here as this one helps me stay accountable to my tasks there's something about seeing your own handwriting no matter how ugly it is this will help you stay on track more as your handwriting is only yours i'll be leaving a link of the template in the description box below the like button so please check it out if you're interested good notes have also added this chat box think of this like chat gpt but inside of good notes you can ask questions just like you normally would or it can even help you brainstorm ideas when you just need to jot down some key points and as you might have guessed it you can summarize your notes straight away from this chat box suppose you have attended a lecture or you have taken a ton of messy notes during a meeting you wouldn't need to spend hours going through your notes in order to get all the key points good notes ai can scan through your content and will generate a concise summary for you it will essentially do all the heavy lifting for you so you can focus on what matters the most so if you're into digital note taking with note 6 is definitely worth checking out and speaking of ai assistants let me share why i have been using claude over chat gpt lately especially when it comes to writing based tasks it is rather very easy to spot any article or post written using chat gpt as it uses almost the same kind of language everywhere at this stage you can even spot it and rather almost everyone else is using chat gpt so people are kind of acquainted with that language rather i'll just say it now it feels very robotic and also repetitive that's where Claude excels. In terms of features, Claude really shines with its ability to handle massive amounts of text. You can feed your entire workbook, a huge research paper or even a manuscript and it won't lose track. This is super helpful for writers and who need to work with long drafts and detailed references, especially for me for managing all my scripts which makes me really bored. Its writing style is also another highlight. The result feels smoother and less robotic compared to ChatGPT. When you read something written by Claude, it won't be screaming AI generated to your face, which is exactly what you want when you're writing essays, blog posts, or even creative stories. Another area where it stands out is the summarization aspect. Like I said, you can upload a really long document and Claude will give you a clean human-like summary. That too with all the key points intact without missing context. As I really faced this on ChatGPT, it often skipped on many important key points at times, especially when I was working with multiple or long scripts for my videos. Claude is also slowly becoming more creative. It can help you with brainstorming, dialogue writing, or even writing poetry. When it comes to length and depth, Claude can keep up with 
with bigger projects while chat gpt sometimes cuts off or rather loses context in the middle of very long conversations and in terms of language tone claude doesn't really feel repetitive and predictable like chat gpt you can notice that especially when you ask for edits claude respects your tone and the structure much better whereas chat gpt rewrites it too aggressively at times overall if your focus is purely on writing and stuff whether it's long form content blogs and essays or basic things like replying to emails claude simply feels much more human and reliable in terms of that so this was my list of the top five productivity apps you need in 2025 but the real question is how do i use them every single day well i break it all down in my what's in my ipad video click right here and go watch that next you wouldn't want to miss that